Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about ratios. Well, what the world's ratio is? Well, a ratio is a comparison between two numbers of two numbers by division. And that's true, but it's also a little confusing. It's confusing because most of us think that comparing numbers is just trying to decide if a number is greater than, less than, or equal to another number. But in the case of a ratio, we're not going to compare numbers like that. Where we're seeing how two numbers relate to each other. Relate. So, in the Simon I am Sad, we like to think of a ratio as a relationship between two numbers by division. To understand a little better, let's have an example of a ratio. Let's say one half. Well, you might think that that's not a ratio, that's a fraction. Well, the short answer is that uh, it's a ratio, of course. This is because ratios are basically fractions. It's just when you use a fraction in a particular way, we call it a ratio. So, now, now, now let's understand the difference between ratios and fractions. Let's have the fraction one over two and the ratio one over two. Well, so let's understand how the fraction one over two works. Well, in lunch time, you might eat one sandwich, or if you're very hungry, you might eat two sandwiches, but if you're not very hungry, you might just have half a sandwich. We can use the fraction one half, like you use one or two, to represent how many sandwiches you eat. It's just in the case of one half, it's just a part of a sandwich, just a fraction of one. So now, let's uh, understand how we can use the ratio one over two. So, when you compare to a fraction, when you get to a fraction, we just think if it's a single number. But when in, but in a ratio, we you don't think that it is a single number, and and look at the top and bottom numbers closely. Pay attention. This is important. So now, now let's have an example. Let's have, let's see that we want to go on a picnic. Probably two people on the picnic were bringing just one sandwich. So, we can say that the ratio from sandwiches to people is one to two. Or one sandwich per every two people. So now, let's understand the difference between them. Fraction. So, now, so sandwich, sandwich, Now, so, do you see the difference to 
to our sandwich to a ratio and a fraction. In the case of a fraction, the top and bottom numbers are referring to the same thing, the sandwich. But when, but in a ratio, the top and bottom numbers are referring to different things, sandwiches and people. And you can see that they're both the same thing because, because a fraction just shows a part of one part. And a ratio shows a relationship. Relationship. Between two different things. Between two different things. So, and you can tell that they're the same thing if you understand the ratio of sport. And if there are just one sandwich for every two people, guess how, how many sandwiches will each person will get? Yep, half a sandwich. So, you learn that you learn that um, fractions and ratios are basically the same thing. It, the difference is how we use them in the real life. So now, so. Now let's have an example. Well, the first example is if you if you want to compare apples to oranges, if someone told you you couldn't, well, you can with a ratio. Now, let's say that a fruit stand, a fruit stand. Give five apples, probably three oranges they sell. So the ratio to apples to oranges is uh, five, five apples over three oranges. So, if they're used differently, sometimes they're also shown differently. Sometimes, instead of writing in the standard division form, you, you might see like this. When you see a ratio written like this, it just means one to two or one per two. So, now, like it in this picture. So, in this picture, we can see that there are two basketballs and three tennis balls. So, the ratio to basketballs to tennis balls will be three. Two to three. Two to three. And you can also, also represented in the standard division form. I can also represent it in the standard division form. Which is two tennis balls. Over three basketballs. So. Now, ratios are used all the time to do basic math problems. So, now, so let's have a problem. Let's say, 
let's say a truck a truck let's say a truck let's say a truck goes two trucks let's say two trucks goes at different time speeds and before i do these examples i want to show one thing that when one of the ratios numbers includes a period of time it's called a weight and we're gonna understand a another thing using the, this example so now the first uh, truck's uh, speed is 120 miles for three hours that's so fast and the second car's traveling rate is 150 miles per five hours which car is going faster so which car is going faster can you tell me which car is going faster so it's not easy to tell when the rates have different bottom numbers so let's see an example it is very easy to tell that is one is the bottom number at any rate all you have to do is divide is divide the top number divide the top number by the bottom number the answer you get will be the top number of your answer and the bottom number will be just one now unix rates like this are called unit rates because unit means one now let's now let's do these so and convert them to unit rates to make the comparison easy so first 120 divided by 3 is equal to 40 miles 40 so the unit rate will be 40 miles per hour and the second car's rate will be 150 miles over 5 hours 150 divided by 5 is 30 so 30 miles per one hour now we can compare that the the first car is going faster now we can compare the first car is going faster so the first car is going faster and you can also tell why unit rates why unit rates are so helpful so now I have a better idea about ratios so now don't forget to hit the subscribe button please please subscribe our channel and my channel's name is Samuel Musad and please press the bell icon so bye bye see you next time